What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Flight Sports TV, man. Um, it's a holiday edition. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. You know, I hope everybody having a good night. Um, if y'all got kids, man, you know, um, you know, hope y'all having a, you know, hope y'all making one of the one of the best Christmases y'all can. You know, it's for the kids. It's for everybody. It's not just for the kids, man. Christmas is, is for everybody, man. Um, I love I love Christmas. It's, it's my favorite holiday. You know, I believe it or not. Um, but um, I got a good topic I want to touch on today. Uh, I want to shout out to everybody that supported my first video. Uh, you know, we had to talk about lines on the first video. You know, shout out to everybody that's been holding it down. Shout out to the people that's, that that was kind of like not uh, not really understanding how, how good that this guy is and who he can be. And people that's coming around now that like, you know what? I do kind of see what you were saying, you know, because there's a lot of people on here and even like outside, that's an outside of the tube. You feel me? I got people paying homage all over. You understand? Um, but what I want to touch on is tom tomorrow's night game, Christmas Day, not even tomorrow night. We got a bright and early game, Christmas Day in Miami, the Pelicans versus the Miami Heat, and and I'm very interested tomorrow to see Lonzo against the Pelicans. Not pardon me, Lonzo against Miami Heat. Um, but not just they're playing against the Miami Heat, but the eyes that's going to be on that game tomorrow. Um, I'm I'm with the belief that Lonzo Ball is going to have a lot of people's undivided attention tomorrow. Not just me or you. I'm talking about the world is going to be watching tomorrow. You understand? And and I'm kind of interested to see his performance when, when 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 the lights is this bright. You know, um, because like I said, we see Lonzo playing well. You know, he did well against the Raptors. But I always want to see when the, when the lights were the brightest. You know, when the bubble. Not to say that that was the reason why he was struggling, but I just feel like in these moments, I want to see Lonzo take that next step. I know what I'm getting from Ingram. You understand? I, we know what we're Ingram bringing to the table. We know what Zion gonna do, especially if he if he if he if he getting open down low in the paint. Pause. You know, but nonetheless, I'm very excited and I can't wait to see how it's gonna go and play out. And we're gonna get into everything. Before we do, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Shout out to all my members, shout out to my guys, shout out to my boy Sam, shout out to all my all the people that support or support this channel. The love is not being underappreciated. Underappreciated, pardon me. You get in that comment section, let's politic. Y'all know we politic around here. This is not just like your average YouTube channel where I put out some content. I have y'all in the comment section. I just ignore y'all like I don't know y'all. You feel me? I, I support the guys. I support everybody. Men, women, everybody that support this channel, I'm supporting back. And when I get to the... They don't want, to, want somebody like me getting to the top. Because when I get to the top, pause, I'm taking the people with me. You feel me? The, the people that supported my channel from the, ground, from, the, from the grassroots, I'm trying to take them up there with me. I, when we start getting monetized, when we start getting, then when the donations coming through the roof and not so sporadic, I'm breaking bread. You understand? I I, I don't need it all for my. I want to bring the people with me. It's Flight Sports TV. But um, let's let's get into it right quick. You know, um, what I want to say is this: the New Orleans Pelicans, they got they got Miami tomorrow. So what I want to what I want to let people know is I'm expecting an all out warfare tomorrow night between these two teams. And I'm going to tell you why. And if the Pelicans come out lackluster as Christmas, remember, this is a young. But I like Stan Van Gundy because I think Stan Van Gundy can lighten the fire under them right now. You got a hungry Miami Heat team to tomorrow. They just lost a blunder to, to Orlando where they could have had the game and they blew it. They're going to come out like 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 dogs against the Pelicans. They ain't gonna, they ain't taking no prison. As soon as the ball go up, Miami this is they this is Miami treating this like a must win, I believe it or not. Trust me. You understand? So if they don't got their act together, they literally can get wiped off the court um on Christmas Day. I know we all Pelicans fan, but I'm just saying that if they don't get their act together, Miami could take them off the court. And that wouldn't be a problem with oh my God, this guy sucks. I'm just trying to tell you, Miami ain't playing tomorrow. You understand? And I don't think New I think New Orleans is gonna match their intensity, believe it or not. You know, um you got Lonzo Ball. You understand? Back to back to what I'm saying. 
We know what we're getting from some of these guys. Lonzo got to bring that intensity back to the floor that he brought against Toronto. Because if Lonzo played good, they win in this game. You understand? And you got Lonzo Ball shooting the ball very well. But across from it, you got Tyler Hero out there. You got Dragic out there. These shooters, uh, they own right. You understand? So I'm interested to see defensively how he matches up with some of these guys. Remember, this is a championship team. They didn't win it, but... Miami is a championship team. This is a good test for the Pelicans. They're going against two Eastern Conference heavyweights to start the season. You had the Raptors. They still got championship pedigree on that team. You know, you got Miami. That's championship pedigree. Pat Riley, Spolstra. You understand? This is going to be a hell of a test, and I'm very interested to see this. But I don't. I want to see Lonzo aggressive on Christmas Day. I want to see him put on the show. You know, I, I'm predicting a... I'm predicting a little bit more than what he scored this game that just passed, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not. I'm telling you my hopes in the beginning. Now I'm going to tell you what's going to go down. You understand? I'm predicting 20 plus. I may be wrong, but I'm going out on a limb. And I'm going to tell you why. Lonzo, the first game that we just, Lonzo was in foul trouble. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Foul trouble. He had, they had, they had taken him out midway through the first. I think he picked up his third in, in the second quarter. Foul trouble. They had to keep pulling him in and out the game. He 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 started off hot and he kind of faded. He can I would say he missed a few shots in between. I don't see that happening again. I think I'm, I'm telling you. I think this guy's gonna gonna pick up right where he left off and from that second half against the Raptors. And I think he's gonna be lights out all through the game. Expect the assists to go up. Remember, I think he only had two assists. I expect the assists to rise this game as well. You know, you're gonna have to because this Miami is gonna lock you up. They're gonna play tight defense. I just feel like Miami is a better defensive team than Toronto at this point, you know. Um, so I'm very interested to see how they match up, you know. Um, you got you got Brandon Ingram, Jimmy Butler. That's that that's gonna be a a matchup in itself. Nobody can stop uh, Brandon. I don't give a damn who the hell you are. Nobody can stop Brandon Ingram on the perimeter. Maybe at the rim you could probably stop him. But when I'm talking about, you ain't gonna stop Brandon Ingram from scoring. Okay, you you not you uh, you're not okay. That's baby KD. Let's 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 keep it real here, here ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do we're gonna do something for Brandon Ingram too because Brandon Ingram is a beast, okay? Um, but like I said, you got Tyler Hero and those guys out there, they're not taking no prisoners either. You know, so let's see what happens. And where I'm going with this is like I said before, we know he's a great player. He's he he he's a he he's becoming a he he has a potential of becoming a great player. You know, he's a guy who's improving right now. He's doing well. I mean, look at the impro look at the improvement that Alonzo is making season to season. You still got people literally making like I said, it's people who made their living off of a dissing him, you know. So I don't expect people to, to come full circle. You see, I wasn't necessarily dissing Luka Doncic when I was doing I was just bringing up some things and I was saying, Hey, I think we should hold up with the top five, top three player situation because I don't feel like he's proven himself in the playoffs yet. Luca goes to the playoffs hitting game winners, working working the goddamn clippers. I mean, good lord. I mean Luca was putting on the out on the show. If he would have had a drop of, of a second option um, especially into that series, not in the beginning, but winding that they would have won it, you know. So that's where I'm going with this, you know. Um, so this is gonna be the, listen. Christmas Day don't get no better, and you we gonna have a hell of an opener to, to open up the open up Christmas Day. So I hope y'all got your food ready, your snacks ready, your hors d'oeuvres ready, because I'm expecting fireworks. Okay, in this game, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a few altercations, you know. Um, but Let's see what happens, man. This is going to be a hell of a game now. You know, um, this is going to be good, man, because Miami ain't trying to go down 0-2. That's not going to be a good look. And I think the Pelicans, they 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 ready to get off to a hot start. You got Sacktown just won. See, I would have felt a lot better to sack. See, the problem is this, it's going to be a log jam, in that, again, in the West with that 6th, 7th, 8th situation. It's going to be crazy, okay? And the Pel it's going to be paramount. For these teams that that know they gonna be in that slot, cause you know you know you gonna have the Lakers, Clippers, uh, who else? Um, Denver. You gonna have um, let's see who else. Uh, I know I'm missing some teams. Uh, I'm gonna put Utah in there. I'm gonna put Dallas. Uh, you, you know you gonna have certain teams, and then you gonna have people like Phoenix. You gonna have people like Sacktown, Pelicans, Santa Ann. You got uh, who else? Is and I'm missing that you got Minnesota. They 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 improved their, their roster. 
that sixth, seventh, and eighth is going to be an all-out war. You understand? And they're going to have a playing tournament. So listen, it's going to come down to the wire, and it's going to be very smart for these teams not to be taking no losses that they don't have to take. Because you don't want to lose two, three in a row. Remember, this season is shortened a little bit. So these games going to count. You understand? You don't want to. You ain't like Anthony Davis, LeBron. Y'all go on a 10-game win streak. You know, you, we got to we gotta play smart here now. So let's see what happens, man. I'm very interested to see. It's Flight Sports TV. Y'all get in the comment section and y'all, and let's talk about this. How do you feel Lonzo's going to fare tomorrow with the bright lights on him, all the eyes watching? And they know it. I'm interested to see, is he going to deliver the goods while the world is watching? Not just a regular game on Saturday. Not You understand? I'm talking about some, it's Christmas Day. You understand? I know what I'm getting from Ingram, like I said before. Let's see what's going to happen, what, what Lonzo going to bring to the table. And let's get into the comment section, and y'all let me know, what do y'all expect from Lonzo? Because he has a hell of an opportunity tomorrow to not on, on the national stage to really to really plant his flag. And mind you, this guy's looking to get paid. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised, y'all. I'm predicting 20 plus. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports TV. I told y'all the reasons why. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a, a great holiday. You understand? Let me know what y'all cooking to. We got videos coming back to back. And y'all already know where to find me after the Pelicans game tomorrow, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that. Y'all know that, right? It's Flight Sports TV. If y'all want to take your support to the next level, donate. I told y'all we back. We are back. You understand? I'm pulling right back up, y'all. <laughs> Listen, we got new exclusives coming. We we got we got we got we we, we getting things going, man. Like I told y'all, man. I got a lot going on for the people, man. It's, we, we, it's a, I do this for the people, man. I don't do this for me. I do it for the people. You understand? It's Flight Sports, man. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with me, man. I can't thank y'all enough, man. It's Flight Sports TV.